Symmetric. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Babble Bath. So today on Babble Bath, we have Danielle Petit, aka Danielle the Dressmaker, self taught designer and entrepreneur. Party crasher, publicity stunt extraordinaire, all around SF badass chick. chick. Where did. Oh, where, where'd she go? Peekaboo. So, what's a day in the life of Danielle the Dressmaker like? Well, I usually wake up when I want. I like to sleep a lot. I stay up late. I trickle to the fabric store. Sometimes I go to scrap. You trickle there? Huh? You, you trickle? I trickle there, yeah. Sometimes I call someone to give me a ride. Sometimes <laughs> I take the bus. Sometimes I bike. And I buy a lot of things. I'll fill up bags for like 10 bucks each and I'll leave with like spending 20 bucks. And I'll make like 10 garments out of $20. And then I'll head to the office and I'll get inspired by whatever I bought. And then I start making something really cool. Cool. So you hear that? Her $500 dresses really cost her about <laughs> <I know>. $3 <laughs> each. So uh, how did you emerge onto the San Francisco fashion scene? Well, it was three years ago. I decided to never work for someone else again because I got fired from like every job I've ever had. And I decided to, to create, started creating things. And in that sense, my creativity led me to design because I had been working in trade shows and showrooms in New York and I fell in love with fashion and I thought that I think I can make this kind of stuff so I started doing it and I tore apart dresses from the thrift store and then I ran into a lovely lady who was um, kind of like a socialite and she bought her first birthday dress for me and from then on I decided to be a custom dressmaker and I've been doing it ever since. Where do you draw most of your inspiration from? Most of the time I, I feel inspired by all the fabrics I buy. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like the only inspiration I, I get is just from the fabric and how to bring it to life. Cool. What was LA Fashion Week like? LA Fashion Week was intense. And I took 13 of my models down from San Francisco because San Franciscan models are, have, they have more personality and they're more fun. But uh, we rented a house and I put everyone in the house and Every day being there for three days was so much fun. They were hilarious and entertaining. Everyone would play their role in making coffee and cooking breakfast, and then they would all change their outfits like 20 times. It's like America's Next Top Model oh, Kami. It was. Yeah. <laughs> we're more professional when it comes to stuff like that. It was exactly, but more of more getting along and more organic. I was headlining the event, and there was like 1,200 people who showed up as guests and we did a lot of camera interviews. We had a lot of fun together and it was like turning a really super cool girl trip into a business trip. I saw some footage from that trip <laughs> and I have to tell you people, go to her website or her Facebook or wherever and watch these videos because those models were hot. <laughs> so you're famous for doing your own publicity. Mm -hmm. What's the wildest stunt you've pulled so far? On Super Bowl Sunday last year, I decided that there were so many people roaming around the city. I went to my office, I got dressed, I made a crazy sign and it was in the shape of a speak bubble and I held it up here and it said, hey, let me make you a birthday dress. And then on the back, it had my website. And I met a lot of people and ended up selling a lot of designs after that. And this lady from NBC stopped me and she took my picture and blogged about me. Do you have any advice for any like up and coming, starving designers that want to absolutely pave their own way in the world? I think that if you want, if you're an artist in general and you want to stay true to your creative talents, you should never give up and have your own sense of style. Have a really good idea of your own design sense. Don't always expect that you have to find someone to help you back up your own business. Just take it 
and stride like one day at a time and never give up. It's a lot of work. Eat beans and rice and ramen noodles for mm -hmm. a year. <laughs> But never give up, most of all, and stay true to who you are. We feel like our best talents are drinking champers in the tub. So <laughs> Can you guys I, pay us for that? I agree. Like, do, do what you, you love. You should. Do what you love. They're really good at it. Do what you love. <laughs> do you need some champagne? Yeah, yes. Champer yeah. folk. <laughs> bobs and my oh, bobs. Oh, bobs in your Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for lending us these lovely bathing suits. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, Star Symmetric. So proper. And I'm A Money. And I'm Danielle the Dressmaker. And, and we, we are, are out. out.